What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video and tonight I want to talk about a transaction I did with BBIG. I did it on Weeble. A YouTuber saw me do that so he's made a video expressing how please 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 we stop using payment forward flow. Now, I'm not going to call his name because I don't want to embarrass him. But I've said from the beginning, it does not matter. Plus, I also say that if you're with Weeble, you're okay. Because everybody transferred out of Weeble and Robinhood because of the payment for order flow situation. Which I told y'all was a hedgy trick. And I was right. And... They moved to the bigger brokers like Fidelity, Charles Schwab, E-Trade, and so forth. Well, come to find out, Al from Boston <laughs> comes with the receipt for me so that I can show everybody that I was right. Here's Fidelity's 606 report. Now, a 606 report is simply where each brokerage firm has to report to the SEC which exchange the shares were traded on. And here on Fidelity, we see that on, on non-directed trades, all right, or orders, Citadel received 24% of Fidelity's trades that were non-directed. If you didn't go select whichever one, they got to choose which one, and they sent it to Citadel first. Then they sent 18% to the New York Stock Exchange, 15% went to the NASDAQ, and so forth. But the point is, 24% of S&P stocks in January of 2022, by fidelity, if you did not select which one you wanted it to go on, they sent 24% of those trades to Citadel, okay? So, it doesn't matter whether you used Weeble or Fidelity, 24% went to Citadel, 18% to New York, and 15%, and then the rest of them are broken up into other percentages. So, close to 50% of market orders went outside of the lit exchange now with market orders that's where you set a particular price citadel fulfilled 43 percent of fidelity's orders doesn't matter about payment for order flow does it then none went to new york exchange only 0 0.01 went to the nasdaq all right so what's my point it didn't matter if you switched from Weeble to Fidelity, but what about this one? Hold up. What about if you changed from Robinhood, Weeble, or another brokerage firm over to Charles Schwab? Well, Charles Schwab, if you didn't choose which direction you wanted your trades to go, then Charles Schwab gave 34.74% of the business to Citadel. 27% to Virtue, they didn't send any of them. That way down here, the NASDAQ, got sent directly to the exchange. All right? If you switch on over to E-Trade, which is one of my brokers, 34% of market orders went through Citadel. All right? And then the rest of the orders go through these other market makers, all the way up to the NASDAQ exchange got point zero of the market orders. <laughs> so, one more. First Horizon Advisors. Never heard of them, I know. They're just a regular bank. But a regular bank sent 44% of its market orders to Citadel first. So, we go back to Robinhood, we go back to Weeble, we holler payment for order flow, when in fact every large broker is sending a very large chunk of their order flow through Citadel people 
It's payment for order flow. They're getting paid for that. So it doesn't matter if you're with First Horizon Bank or E-Trade or Charles Schwab or Fidelity. It doesn't matter. So can we please kill the payment for order flow myth here and now? Love y'all. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next video.